Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more CK3, playing as the Mogyo Confederation led by Grand Prince Al Mush. I think it's supposed to be a shift sound at the end there, Ugyekfi of the Mogyo Confederation. Alright, so in the last video we were able to conquer a huge chunk of the Kingdom of Hungary from the King of Hungary. For some reason, we didn't get this duchy down over here. I wasn't really paying attention to what happened there, but uh, yeah, for some reason this duchy was not in our control. So now that's still held by the proper King of Hungary. But we, of course, hold the lion's share of the kingdom, and I would like to take the title of King of Hungary, because that is the whole point of this achievement, right? However, I was a little confused in the last video as to why I was not allowed to usurp the title, as shown right down here, and I got confused. I understand what happened now. Let me explain real quick. So, basically, this has to do with the mechanics and the interactions between different religions and their perceptions of each other. If you go to the encyclopedia right down over here, and this is actually a very useful tool, it has a lot of info in it, we can see here that usurpation is more difficult if the current holder's faith is hostile to yours. In other words, because Catholicism considers my religion of Taltosism to be evil or hostile, they refuse to allow the title to leave Catholic hands. The only way we can get around this is if we take all of the territory that is held by the current King of Hungary, so he is the King of Nothing, then no one is able to contest and I become the King of Hungary. Alternatively, what I could do is actually just go ahead and, you know, convert to uh, Catholicism. Which, by the way, is something I have to do for this achievement anyway. So I don't really see any reason why we shouldn't go ahead and do this. We need to convert to Catholic in order to get the achievement, and if we can convert to Catholic, I get to usurp the title, which basically means I think we can get the, the achievement right now, before I even unpause the game. I think we just go ahead and do this. Now, one thing I had been concerned about was that once I swap over to Catholicism, I lose the ability to raid, but because I have a tribal government, I should still be able to raid my neighbors. Should. So... We're going to give this a go. Now, the, one of the reasons I want to do this right now is because my leader is currently kind of popular. Like, we just handed off a lot of titles. All of our immediate vassals should love us, which means they'll follow suit and convert as well. So this is a good time to do this before my son takes over and he has to actually have some uh, instability within the realm. So we want to convert to the faith. As shown right here, we can actually see all the people who would accept, which is pretty much everybody, except for Count Lokim of Borsad. This guy will refuse to do it because he's orthodox. He's a weird guy. But either way, ah, it's fine. Eight out of nine vassals convert. It's going to cost me 250 piety. That's no big deal. Let's convert. And boom, we are now Catholic, which means I'm not allowed to have consorts anymore. So they're gone. Thank you, new religion. And our bishop actually endorses me, which means I am getting all the extra levy and tax out of having the... Um, having the Catholics uh, clergy on my side. Now, on top of this, I should now be able to go right over here, go to the Kingdom of Hungary, and usurp it. It's going to cost me 500 gold. A-OK -okay with me, Dunskis. I am now king, king of Hungary. And there it is, almost there. We just got the achievement. Ba-boom! We have formed Hungary, and... We are Catholic. All right, we can just end the series right now. Nah, we're not going to do that. I want to have some more fun with this. This is a really good introduction. Actually, I think we could have gotten this achievement like in the first video if I had understood we were going to get so many free troops. So, let's see what else we want to do. I'd like to form an empire, all right? I'm an imperialist. I build things. I think we should form the empire of Carpathia, but, or Carpathia? I don't know what it's pronounced. I think we should do that before we end this series. So, that becomes our next big goal. And as a tribal leader, that should not be outrageously hard. Low control in a few counties. We can convert some counties to the to Catholicism. That would be smart. We can lawfully imprison Erica, spymaster of somebody. Why? She's a known criminal, a fornicator. Oh, right, as a new religion, we have a whole bunch of different laws we can imprison people for them. That's fun. We can call on an ally, heir in line to inherit titles, blah, 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 negotiate alliances... There's a bunch of things we could do. I'm not worried about any of those right now. Let's continue with our war that we have going on down over here. Oh, there's the achievement on Steam. Thank you. Let's get over here and let's go ahead and take some land here. If I want to form the Empire of Carpathia, Carpathia, whatever it is, I need to own a lot of land in the Empire. And the thing is, we're actually shockingly close to this already. What I need to do is kill Wallachia. Eat all their land, eat some territory back up here in Bulgaria, and then say, Hey guys, you know the ones that I abandoned when I moved across the river? Guess what? We're back! And just eat a bunch of them. Moldavia and 
Wallachia, and Nitra. These guys all die, I get Empire. That's how it works. That's how it works. It's going to be great. We did just see that we have a new faction going on here. What is this? An independence faction. Some people, including my son, I think, wants to be free. Why would you want this of me? Why would you want this? Nobody knows! Nobody knows. Hey, by the way, did my wife convert to Catholicism? She did not. She's actually of a totally different religion in the first place. A little awkward, but alrighty. We kind of want her to be on my side. I think we should probably just go ahead and sway her for a bit. Let's make sure she likes me. She's shrewd, which is a great, great trait. It's a physical trait, not a congenial trait, so it's not going to get passed on to kids, but it's very good. She's a witch?! <laughs> my wife's a witch my wife is a witch okay no this is this is good this is very good uh okay so where are we gonna go we gotta go over here there's one more barony right here a tribal holding like so that we want to take over this should be relatively easy for me and uh yeah if we could just finish it up that'll be fine let's go to speed five only gonna take a couple of months but this guy will serve me in the end one way or another and in just a few days our raiding hostilities against wallachia ends Although it said that we, they were the king of Hungary, which is obviously wrong. By the way, I should now be able to change my top holding. I think... Uh, how do I do that? There's a way. I'm not looking to invite any champions or anything. Um, domain. I could change my uh, tribal authority. Characters can be imprisoned. Tribal rulers with non-tribal lieges may settle, becoming feudal or clan. That could be good. Um, yeah, we lose opinion with some vassals, but I think this is worth passing. Let's go ahead and increase the centralization of the tribe a little bit. Being able to imprison some characters could end up being quite nice for me. And then, yeah, where is... Maybe I can go to... Here, title, claimants, make primary. There we go. Grand Principality of Hungary becomes my primary... Yes. This is now my primary title. Hungary proper! Ha-ha! <laughs> Whoa, look at all the scars on your face! Holy crap, dude! I'm sitting around the map table with Prince Tarkatsus and Count Iokim. Uh, discussing our strategy in the ongoing war, he points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to. Okay. Well, we could employ both strategies. We get improved pillaging and avoidance for five years. Or, somebody gets opinion of me. My commanders can act as they see fit. I don't see why we can't do both. I can do this because I have a very high martial skill. Well, yeah, let's just enjoy the benefits of both worlds. What's going on down here? Who's got an independence thing going on? My son, apparently, grandson, sorry, is having a little trouble keeping his realm under control. Well, that's going to be an issue, ain't it? All right, let's go ahead and enforce our demands, and we are going to take you. Thank you. All right, we got to take a little county over here. Nice. A prisoner died. No! Uh, that sucks. All right, so is this a new title? Well, I actually have the domain to hold this, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we are going to have to disband our army for a minute. Now, can I go to war against Wallachia? This guy right here. Hi. Uh, we have a truce, and the truce will last until what? Maybe I get to see this. There it is. Truce is until 888. That is one more year. Okay, that's fine. What I could do is go raid him for a bit and soften him up, or I could just go try to conquer something else. Like the Duchy of Nitra. What's up, buddy? If I were to conquer Duchy, I could spend some piety to do this, and I would gain a contested title way up here that I don't have an immediate use for. What about, um... There's nothing I can do as far as, like, demanding this actual whole Duchy? I guess not. What I want to do against Wallachia is demand this. This is my de jure territory, so I should be able to take that easily enough. So if I'm the king... See, I can't, I can't demand this guy come under my control. Offer vassalage? He's not willing to. He's at war. We're a different culture. That's part of the problem. I would have thought that I could declare war on him... Saying, hey, guess what? You're part of Hungary, therefore... You ought to join me as my vassal, but apparently not. What is your religion? You're Catholic. Hmm. Okay. Proof of devotion. Lord Alamos, my winsome treasure, my court physician is kneeling in the dust before me. My heart is to bring you honor and happiness. Is she still trying to seduce me? Slay a wolf and bring me its pelt. What does that do? I get prestige per month. Okay. Your necklace looks nice. 
I get some prestige and attraction opinion. Bring me something unusual, a rare orchid. I get learning skill? Okay. And she has to stop trying to romance me. Um, tell you what, bring me a rare orchid for some learning skill. She refuses to give me an orchid. Why? What's wrong with that? Come on. All right, fine. A fine balance. In the heart, heat of combat, this, uh, decisiveness is often what separates victory from defeat. When the time comes, I know how I will act. I could become a flexible leader, giving me, um, oh, sorry, they lose their defensive advantage. Okay. Uh, unyielding defender, friendly fatal casualties reduced, or aggressive. I think I'll go ahead and reduce their advantage so it's easier to win fights, and then I can reduce my own casualties and inflict more casualties that way. Uh, let's see. She has captured my essence. Um, more opinion. Uh, I guess I can have more opinion with her, but I'm not going to sleep with her. I'm a, I'm a good Catholic now. Good Catholic man. The sun is shining and the peasants are milling about the tourney, hosted by my wife. All my champions cheer as the Grand Princess announces the tournament in their honor, and for once I get to simply sit and watch. I am not going to spend an entire tourney stuck on a throne, however. I too cheer my champions. All champions like me for eight years. Or, this is an R honor, I get some prestige. I said we take prestige. Prestige is still good. And I would like to continue to improve some of my top holdings wherever possible. We are currently building, I think, a longhouse, so that's got a little bit longer to go. Over here, we're still building that. Um, what am I gonna hold on to long term? We're gonna hold on to more territory in Transylvania, so I could build something here. We're already building something there. Um, Torda? And I'm building something here too. Hmm. All my top holdings are already building things. Except for the one we just took up here, but I'm not going to hold on to that uh, duchy for very long. So I'm okay with losing that at some point. Um, yeah, I need, to, I need to keep building things in my top capital, I think. That'll be the best. Alright, um, we can do this again. I already got this, but I'm going to get another one. Okay, well I have to get stressed no matter what now. If that's the case, I might as well get Aggressive Attacker. Which, because it goes against my uh, nature as a calm person, that is going to give me some stress. So we can see right down over here, stress level 1 out of 3, my fertility goes down as a result. Alright. Mental break. Imposter. Recently I feel like I'm not worthy of the Grand Principality of Hungary. What are you talking about? I earned this fair and square. Do other rulers doubt themselves as I doubt myself? I try to be a good calm Grand Prince, but every one of my courtiers seems determined to fry my nerves. Small crises dominate my days. And I can feel myself cracking in a way that uh, my others in my situation never do. Damn this universe for raising one so poor as me to such heights. Uh, okay, I could lose some stress if I am willing to become reclusive, which reduces my diplomacy and stewardship. Not great. I could also get a new cloak. Profligate, I lose monthly income, but I gain prestige. Or I'm just as good as the rest and I gain more stressed. If you are still stressed in five years, you may suffer another mental break. Ouch. So you really have to find ways to start reducing your stress. Um, we can afford to do this. I lose some money, but that's not too bad. It lets me start burning down stress, and now I'm no longer at level one, so I go down back to zero. Okay. We'll try for that. Um, I'm not sure how bad it is, these mental breaks. I assume the higher it gets up, the worse it's going to be. But I could be wrong. Grand Princess has been swayed. She likes me better. Good. Soon we shall demand her conversion to my faith. In my holding here, we could build something else. Palisades for more levies and garrison. Defender advantage. All good for a capital in Transylvania. Also, war camps just gets me more levies. And I can have more knights. And knights do more damage. Also, better skirmishers. I think we want to build a war camp. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm pretty sure the amount of damage and toughness you get stacks. So the more of these we have in our immediate domain, the stronger my skirmishes are going to get across the board, which seems really, really good to me. Uh, increase opinion, my vassal, the count. Okay, so you... Whoops. Where'd you go? Not you. Not you. Where's my count? Hang on. This guy right here. Okay. I want to know, first off, where are you? The city of... This one right here. Hello. Okay, this guy's peeved at me. So, what's your situation? You are orthodox. Can I, like, revoke... I can demand your, um, your conversion. He might ask for something in return. I can't just take your titles. I can't murder you because I'm still just. I'm not going to grant you anything. Can I modify your count a bit? Uh, no. There's no good way for me to get rid of his stuff. Even though he's of the wrong faith, we don't have the right laws in place when we just revoke his title outright. 
We may want to consider swaying him for a bit. We could also send him a gift. A hundred would only get 17 opinion. Not that great. Um, we've already got our wife a little bit happier with us. Let's go ahead and start uh, swaying him for a bit. Let's actually look at you real quick and just um, see. So you're at 29. I can't demand your conversion. Difference between the two faiths is too strong. Actually, if we had if we had her a little bit happier, she probably would have joined faiths. But oh well. It's not a big deal. It's okay. We should go to our court and see if we can convert some faiths. Now, let's see. Let's do it in our top holding primarily. And we can see 23 years. His skill is awful. Ah, oh, forget this guy. All right. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just go ahead and just get some increased uh, piety or something. If we had a really good court chaplain, we could convert territory to uh, Catholic for us. He's terrible. And we don't have the right laws in place to change who our bishops are. So we're stuck with this. This is appointed by somebody else. Once again, my my physician is still trying to seduce me. Um, you could give me, how about the wolf pelt? She fails to slay a wolf. Well, what use are you, woman? Gosh, you don't know how to, you don't know a way to my man's heart at all. And I'm dead. All right, hold the phone, hold the phone. So, Grand Prince Alamosh dies at the years, uh, at age of 68. But he did manage to change the realm to Catholic and form the Kingdom of Hungary in time. Now we are playing as my son, Arpad, and yes, there is indeed a succession war right off the bat. All right, what's going on here? Uh, first off, we get a new Archbishop who does not endorse me. That sucks. And we are fighting against somebody. Um, Count Zoltan of Box. This guy right here? Okay, that's not too big of a deal. So we need to go our military. We need to raise up our armies. We have a load of holdings all of a sudden. Ten out of six. So we need to hand some territory off. Dangerous faction. Let's see. Doesn't look that bad to me yet, but if more people join factions, we are going to have some problems. We have an empty council position. I need a new marshal. Uh, let's see. Our champion would be quite good. One of our vassals. This guy would be pretty solid. I'll go ahead and put you in charge. Make him happy. That should be fine. Uh, I have a wife who is good at... Intrigue, as well as some stewardship and other such things. Um, let's see. Intrigue might actually be worthwhile because there's going to be a lot of danger that people want to kill me kind of early on. Getting some extra intrigue would be nice. However, I think I'm just going to go ahead and manage domain. And that'll get me more prosperity as well as potentially some more domain holding. So I like that. Yeah, we're above our domain limit. We are have an unmarried son. Okay, so I should probably get you married to somebody. We should be able to marry the uh, Catholics now, which means we can get some proper um, alliances going too, which would be quite nice. Let's see. Duchy of Duccia, um, Barcelona. A little far away, but okay. Um, you also have a claim on some places. Verona, Genoa, Rafael. What's a potentially good alliance? The County of Rama? I have a hard time believing that's true. And I don't want to have a potential alliance with Nitra, because I plan on conquering Nitra. So instead, um, let's actually look to see maybe getting some congenital traits uh, in the gene pool. So we want to have maximum age... How old are you? 24? Five, uh, 24? Yeah, let's say maximum age 25. Five-year age difference or so. Preferably, yes, an adult already. Fertile, yes. Health, uh, healthy, um, of Catholic origin. Don't care about culture, traits, inheritable traits. Okay, so let's see. There's this French girl who's a genius. I mean, those are some pretty solid stats across the board. We've also got a beautiful woman here. This one's quick. This one is Hale. Uh, I mean, if we can get a genius mixed into the line, I say why not? Let's go ahead and marry this girl off. There we go. And maybe in the future, we're going to have some genius grandchildren. To the far side pod, I gladly accept your... Why am I false? Don't know. All right. Uh, let's see. Bishop endorsement. Yes, I understand how that's supposed to work. Also, we have the factions. Also, blah, 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 blah. So we do definitely need to get our bishop under control. And that means we need to sway him for a bit. So we'll go ahead and try for some of that. Uh, what is my character good at here now? So let's see. We are ambitious, just, and diligent. Three great traits. I like these a lot. We're a brilliant strategist. We're a forest fighter. We are strong, which is inheritable. We have one eye. We're a strategist, and we have been severely injured. So these are both problems, certainly. Uh, what are we currently doing as far as... Oh, we don't have a lifestyle. We should fix that. Do I want Marshall? 
Well, we already finished this. We could go down Overseer. Uh, Dread Gain. Yeah, Fort Level. We could continue down this. What I may want to do is actually go to Stewardship or Diplomacy. If I go down Diplomacy, we could start working on things like Family Hierarch, where children can get extra perks. Also, you make your family like you, etc., etc. That could be good. Alternatively, Ducal Conquest. There we go. Conquer some duchies. Okay. Going for more Diplomacy helps me solidify my reign quite a bit. Stewardship helps me get a lot of income. Demand payment for hooks. Taxes. Meritocracy. Claim Thrain against Liege. I'm not doing that. I think we're going to go for a Diplomacy. Even though we have more experience for Marshall, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's mix it up. And actually... I think Prestige suits me very well because I'm tribal. Even though I get a little less diplomacy out of that, uh, Prestige is very important so I can continue building things. My vassal has accused Raya, the daughter of a chieftain, of having an affair with my chancellor. Um, well, these accusations are not but malice and lies. Or I could imprison Raya, who is a bold adventurer... I probably shouldn't be upsetting everyone involved here. Let's just say that these accusations don't matter. My sinful acts have come at a cost. Oh no. I am indeed a sinner. I am not dutiful at all. I am a sinful Catholic. Oh goody. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Okay, so how about you guys go here and you guys... Select please. Get over here. Now let's just go ahead and end this war real quick. Let's make sure we solidify our realm. I should be able to do a subjugation Casus Belly again, actually. Because I'm tribal with a new character. Maybe this is how I'm going to get Nitra under my control. If I can get Nitra, I think that'll be enough of the Empire. I could possibly go for the title. However, I can't remember. If you want to form an uh, Empire title, do you need two kingdoms? That might actually be the case. Uh, let's actually take a look at that real quick. Hang on. We are going to look at the Empire of Carpathia... Dejour counties, 61, 32. Requires 61 out of 76. You have to have 80% control of the empire. Ah! Okay, fair enough. So there's a lot that I need to do. There's a lot that I need to do. Also, some alliances are now gone. Well, that sucks, but eh. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And we're about to finish up with some of these sieges, which is going to get me the war score that I need. And this will ultimately be a fairly painless, I think. Uh, transition into uh, King of Hungary. Alright, so you're done. Good. And let's go ahead and get rid of all these messages, which, by the way, I know that my uh, camera is blocking quite a few of these messages, but most of them are not that important for you to see. Let's go ahead and disband all armies, like so. And let's just take another quick look at our council. Is everything else here looking more or less okay? I think it is. So, we want to hold on to the primary titles of Transylvania. That's for certain. Um, what other titles do I hold? I need to hand off the duchy to somebody else. Principality of Bihar. So did I... This one. Yes. Wait, do I have two more duchies? Oh, I've got a lot of duchies. Okay, so let's see. This is my prisoner's title. I probably should revoke that if possible. Let's go to Intrigue. Nope, sorry. Let's go to Court and Prisoners. You, can I revoke your title? I can't. I can torture him, but that's going to make me lose quite a bit of um, piety as well as gain a load of stress. Um, yeah, a lot of people need to be ransomed here. All right, tell you what. Let's mass ransom some folks. Let's get some cash. Okay, so I get nothing? Wait, what's the mass ransom if I'm getting no money? Well, this guy gave me 25. This guy gave me 50. I don't know what's happening over there. Huh. All right. Well, either way. Um, so, I hold land here that I need to get rid of. This is what I'm seeing. So, can I go to my son? You already have a title, so I don't want to give you anything else. Okay, fair enough. Do I have other children that deserve titles? You have some. You don't. This son, I could give titles. Yes. Let's give them the Chiefdom of Bihar and then give them the Principality of Bihar and that... 
did not give them what I thought. I didn't give them all lower titles. I'm apparently messing something up. I'm sorry, give me one second. Uh, you need this. And this. Wait, what did I just give you? Hold on. I'm gonna fight some peasants now. Stuff's happening. Pause! Game! Hang on. What's happening now? Okay, I'm fighting some peasants. That's fine. Raise armies. Did I just give away my ti- I just gave away some of my titles to my son. My, my uh, son, the wrong stuff, didn't I? I wanted to give them this. <sighs> right, so I just screwed up, and I was looking at the wrong stuff and just handed off some of the wrong titles. So now, my son owns the county and also some of my own direct lands in my duchy, which means everything is now completely messed up. Okay, I, I wanted to give you this. There, enjoy that. My son is now too powerful. I've messed everything up here. And I have to go and deal with more of these rebels. Okay. Well, first things first, let's go kill the peasants. Because the peasants are annoying me. How am I going to revoke this from my son? Because I just screwed up bad. I mean, I still have a lot of holdings. It was irrelevant because I died already! Okay, we've gone to, through two characters. I mean, I guess this is what happens when you are um, severely wounded, right? Okay. Well, no, good. Um, cool. So, uh, new person's in charge. Let's go up here with the armies and do this all over again. <laughs> um, question. Brother? Murder. I, my, okay, my new character's just as well, huh? You're gluttonous, fickle, and just. This is not nearly as good of a character. Oh, everything just went to crap. Everything just went completely to crap. Partly because of my own screw-up and I divided the realm. I just got maimed. Okay. Nope, this is great. No, good, 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 good. I just lost a fight against some peasants. I am dying. What? I'm on death's door right now. I am actively on death's door and about to die. No, maybe not. Maybe now I'm okay. I got attentive care. Maimed and scarred. Holy warrior. Well, that's great. I don't have a son. Which means I don't have an heir. Which means we're about to lose. So, we <laughs> need to sway, uh, sway my wife. My injured champion, he's been wounded. Champions, I feel like, get wounded quite often. Depends on how smart the game is as far as... Um, Actually getting people who are good at combat in uh, in power. Alright, so once again, above uh, Domain Limit, we have to go for some new traits. I guess we might as well go for... Um, you know what? We need to go for something that's going to get me uh, a lot of... Um, we have two perks in stewardship we haven't spent. We need to get something that's going to get me some fertility, if at all possible. But none of these give me any of that. So I'm wondering... In the way that there used to be a diplomacy focus in CK2 that gave you extra fertility, is there one here as well? I'm not really seeing it. However, there is a family focus down here. Okay, so let's go to family focus. I'm going to get some more diplomacy so people start liking me, and I'm going to get that fertility bonus to try and get myself a son. Because we need that quite badly. Now, we have two traits. We can use Claim Throne. That doesn't do me any good. We could go for Demand Payments for Hooks and Blackmail People. We could also go for some extra money for a vassal tax contribution. We can also extort subjects. I don't see a good point in doing that. Buildings, buildings, forts. I think we're going to go for golden obligations. And let's go for vassal tax contribution, 10%. Because right now I'm not making much in the way of cash because everything's messed up. And this is extremely unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate today. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I, I will admit... Handing off those wrong titles was extremely stupid. Um, I messed up there pretty badly. However, 
I think we're going to have a little bit of fun trying to get ourselves back under control. Going through two characters in one vehicle, uh, vi video is a little unusual. Taxes increased. Well, I like that. That's great. Uh, we're about to finish this siege. Okay, 44% there. Um, we have to go down over here. Deal with some of these people. Yeah, the entire realm is in complete and utter disarray all of a sudden. And this really screws with me. Also, it looks like we've lost a bit of territory as well. So, yeah, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. But I'll come back with that next video. At least we got the achievement. Please don't murder me too much for making these obvious mistakes. Uh, I am getting back into the swing of things. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and see what it is.